Right, something I never covered on this channel is how to connect your studio monitors to your audio interface. So if you purchase some studio monitors and you also have an audio interface, it could be one like this or any kind of audio interface that you might have. There are connections on the back of the audio interface and there are connections on the back of the studio monitor itself. When you buy your studio monitor, especially for me, I noticed that it only came with like a power cable so I could be able to only power my studio monitor but it didn't come with like a connection cable to connect to like my audio interface so that's kind of something that I noticed that just happened so it might happen to you as well so this video will help you and how you can also just connect and connect you properly so before you leave wherever you're buying your studio monitor make sure that you also get this cable so what is this cable this cable is a cable with a quarter inch on one end which is like this which is a male you also have a male xlr like this one kind of like a mic cable so this quarter inch cable will go into your output of your audio interface so you connect that like this in whichever corresponding channel that you want your speaker to be in and then the other side you connect it to your studio monitor like that so you just have to rotate it to make sure that you find exactly where to connect it like that and then you'll be good and then you need to make sure that you also have um, the corresponding USB connection to the audio interface that you connect like that and then that's how you connect so obviously you're gonna need two of these cables to connect from the audio interface into the studio monitor so you need to buy two of these so if you can ask for a set from whoever is selling these kind of cables. So make sure you don't forget when you buy your first studio monitors to always check if they come with this connection, this connection cable here, or they do not. And if they do not, make sure that before you leave what shopping center or what store you are in, ask them that you also want to buy with cable so that you make sure you leave with everything because you'll be very disappointed when you get home and then you can only power your speakers, but then you don't have the cables to connect to your audio interface or to any other device. So some speakers do have RCA like my, I remember my care, my care case also had RCA inputs behind the speakers as well and that could connect RCA but RCAs uh, have some feedback and they have some noise. I don't really recommend them. This is the best way to connect your studio monitors and have a really clean sound coming from your audio interface or from your computer. So you also need to make sure that you connect the power cable that comes with the studio monitor onto the studio monitor. Make sure you connect everything correctly first before you actually turn on the turn on switch here. And what you also do is you need to power it all the way down like the volume. You need to turn it all the way down and then you start bringing it back up slowly until you can hear sound. And don't put the level up too high before you can hear anything. If you don't hear anything, turn it back down so that you don't damage your speaker because sometimes just a sudden uh, rush of sound might actually damage your speakers if you might have not connected it properly and then you have it on like a full volume and then you connect some Something right and then the volume just blasts and shoots out of the speaker you might actually damage it and it will be like a new speaker and then you just destroyed a totally brand new speaker so I hope you found this really helpful if you did make sure to drop this video a like and also comment down below and just if you have any further questions or anything that you need me to clarify it really helps this video in the algorithm situation but I'll see you in my next one thanks so much for watching I'm X and I'm out peace